You're running late. The sun has already set. You're qualified to fly at night, but you rarely do. You check the weather. Some cloud, but you should remain visual. So you decide to go. You tell your wife you'll be home shortly. But this is the last time she'll ever hear your voice. Mostly the flight goes well. As you descend, your destination appears ahead. You start a straight-in visual approach, not realizing you're now moments away from disaster. You see runway lights in the distance, but in between you, there is darkness. You continue the approach, but the black hole is affecting your perception. You're lower than you think, heading straight for the unseen trees. And then, This pilot's cockpit instruments could have alerted him to the fact that he was flying too low. This was not just any flight. This was a night flight, and he wasn't prepared. Every year there are serious accidents as a direct result of flying at night. They can be unforgiving, with most ending in fatal outcomes. This pilot was starting an approach. The visibility was fine, as there were plenty of lights from the town and aerodrome. But as he started the circuit, he turned away from the lights. He momentarily got distracted, and when he looked up, there was pitch black. He was unsure whether the aircraft was still level. Looking at the flight instruments just caused more confusion. No two nights are the same. Even excellent visibility can still result in no visible horizon. Before flight, consider what light is available. Is there a moon, any clouds? What ground lights are there in your direction of flight? And what are the risk factors? Think about your night and aircraft recency. You might meet the regulations, but is it beyond your own limits? There is a range of illusions that your body can be subjected to when flying at night. The majority of night-related accidents involve pilots being affected by perceptual illusions without realizing it. After accelerating, you can feel that you're pitching up when you're not. A gentle bank may not be felt at all. Correcting when there is no need, or not correcting when you should, has resulted in many pilots flying into unseen terrain. Night flying is difficult. Ensure you're current and proficient with disciplined instrument flight. Make decisions pre-flight about how you will use the flight instruments. This will reduce your in-flight workload during takeoff and approach, as you won't need to decide what to do next. Know your own personal limitations in terms of flying with minimal or no visual references. Be prepared for perceptual illusions at night and only fly in environments that do not exceed your capabilities. <laughs>